Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, guys, today's delay was the reason because of me and that special friend who had a flight in the morning. Two people coming today, and today's class will be longer. That's why I'm so sorry I didn't have your number. Otherwise, we planned it all at 4 a.m. in the morning. So let's start. First of all, did you guys learn enough yesterday? Yes. Huh? yes. Did you guys try out the individual lashes? Yes. Yes. No. Yes. So. Yeah. I don't, and they're getting goodies, right? Yes, yes. Oh, I'll, I'll get your goodies. And that's so mean, I want it also because I saw that kid yesterday. After this entire lockdown and yesterday's experience, I was so excited that me and my best friend, we planned something for today's special. We made the actress stay longer, we made her change the flight. So today's look is all about shows which is very very important and when I say shows it's not only about stage shows but also about item songs or songs in general which is the most ruling thing on the film industry and uh, today I'm going to teach you guys a career trial Are you all ready? Yay! Yay! For the Bollywood Masterclass? Yay! Alright come on let's welcome oh And of course, she's so hot, so everything together. Ooh, so, guys, so sorry from my side, the delay, but we got Priya here today, and she's changed her flight to be with us. So, you guys all know her, right? Yeah. Huh? Huh? And I'm so happy that you're coming here. Thank you so much for Thank letting you. me. Thank you for having me here. <laughs> so, guys, so let's start right now. So, shows are very, very important, as I told you guys. It shows, it's glam, and we are here to make girls look very glamorous. Glamorous look on stage, which is larger than life, and people are sitting maybe 15,000, 16,000, 20,000 in arenas, where you see them from so far away, you have to highlight the eyes and make. So, so makeup has its own tricks. Far away shots, three girls walking, you want your artist to stand out, of course you give bigger mouth, the red lips, longer liner but for close up to make the face softer you remove it and we keep it just a tint the same way goes for shows or songs because it's usually far away shots you don't really see except when they're taking close ups on the body on the stage shows you guys know your expression has to be seen so that's why on shows you make your eyes look larger than life lips look a little bit bigger because 16,000 people sitting on the last row needs to see what your movement is and then only our work gets completed so now, let's start with the day. So today I'm going to show you guys how I create looks for shows. For shows, when you create looks, you guys have to remember A with the hair, when you guys are doing hair. I know you guys are more interested in makeup here right now. But when you guys do hair, you guys have to make sure the hair is always on place because there is strong dance moments. Uh, the dance, the hair cannot open up, so the hair is very, very important. But it comes also to makeup. As you guys see, in dances, they are getting pulled up, dancers are holding them. You cannot have baby oil on the skin because if in the act, they're pulling her up and suddenly the guy's hands are slipping or the hand is slipping. There can be injuries, health process. So make sure it's safety very, very important. Okay, when you guys do shows, even dance for movies and you do movie shots, you guys cannot keep too much oily. The reason is it's eight to 12 hours of shoot. You are dancing nonstop, so everything has to be super mad. On top of it, to get the shine, you guys can use a lot of shine products and you guys can do from there also, all right? Today, I'm going to start again with what you guys think. Skin, eyes. Eyes. eyes, right, you guys are right. So I'm going to start with the eyes, but now is your skin clean? Yeah. Moisturized? Moisturized and sunscreen. Sunscreen. Are you fine with uh, Priya me using any products? Yeah. Sure. This is how I start the day with, because a lot of people have allergies. So when you do for the first time makeup, you need to ask, so you're not allergic to anything, no. right? It's very important guys to ask that question also, whether there are any allergies, if they say no, then it's fine. So, then the skin cleaning is done. I'm using our Bobbi Brown Enriched Moisturizer. Again, I'm open about it. What's the use of saying anything else to you guys? All right. Now it's the moisturizing part. 
Now comes for the eyes. Of course, I'm going to use, going to use the same product, the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. So, you, so now we are going to use definitely a little bit more of the primer. Can you show the quantity? Um, I mean, I always use more products in my hand. I don't use that much, but that's easier for me. So eyeshadow primers usually come in three colors: either white, nude, light nude, dark nude, or black. This is the colors I know. Is there other primer colors? Yeah, there's pink. There's pink. Yeah, certain um, Becca has, or some brand has, no? Yes. Because my only fear is, see, what I am doing right now with Priya's <laughs> eyes, I don't need this technique. You know what I mean? So what happens is you guys just save one more extra step. But otherwise, I would say uh, I'm very happy with this color. Like I have been using it quite for a bit and I quite like it. This is again a, a Clinique a lip liner, which I'm just going to put for to get the intensity of the uh, product. So I want that pinky purple look because Priya is wearing a beautiful, beautiful purple uh, orange. Yeah, you guys can see purple orange outfit. So I want to give that purplish kind of eyes. But right now, I'm just going to use first a Krylon kind of a product where I get the intensity of the color. And once that is done, that's when I'm going to seal it with purplish colors. And this is one of my favorite, 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 genuinely. My favorite, favorite uh, eyeshadow palette from NYX. All of you guys must be knowing this. They have a beautiful purple and the rest is also broken, but there is also purple in the hoodas. Now I'm going to use a stronger purple of Calaba. And how many of you guys like actually Calaba products? Yeah. 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 Are they not amazing? Yes. yes. I like their blushes also. Their blushes? So I know I'm going to use a lot of eyeshadow, it's a stage show, so I'm not worrying about it so much. And this can be covered very easily because this look is going to be very intense because I'm going to use eyeshadows which has so much of particles. Now I'm going to use definitely the darkest shade of this purple thing of this eyeshadow. And here it goes. You guys see how much already is gone? Now you guys can see it has already gone darker and darker and I'm talking to you guys more and more. <laughs> so, now I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm going to mix this color with the Huda Golden Palette and I'm going to give a really strong cut crease. So I'm going to first Use a lighter color so that I can blend it out. It's like a peachy orange. Yeah, peachy orange. Because why I'm doing this, why I'm mixing these two colors is light. Which I'm going to show you guys right now how to do that. Guys, can you see what I did? Yes. Now I'm going to take an angler brush and I want a really nice brown interface, like a light. So you guys can use different different brushes for the stage to make it look bigger. Now, look at it. I already blended it out. Now Priya, look straight into that camera so I can see where I want to bring it out to make that almond shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly draw it in to the ends. Guys, can you see what I did? Look straight. And I'm bringing it out more here. Why I'm doing it? So that the stage it looks like really nice. So of course. Don't go on a bride and give such a strong color, guys. She will be in a shock. But there are people who love. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> there are people who love it also. But this is a look. This is like a stage look. This is going to be like a glam look. So now with the same brush, I'm going to make it stronger and just smudge it 
so that everything looks seamless you guys don't need to worry so much can you guys see what i'm doing with the orange one i'm bringing it up more so that it looks nice and raw it's like really giving an illusion of three dimensional paint. now we can use an eyeshadow usually what i do on stage is i use this kind of a color because i feel that it's really nice and pinky like it's kind of the one two yeah second one yeah so i, I love this color it's matte it's beautiful again i'm going to search for a flat brush or any brush because i can apply it just i want to just have the color there and i'm pressing the eyeshadow in the rest of the part because I wanted to give those three colors. You guys be like, okay, this is the basic eyes and this is known as the magic product, but... Okay guys, guys, can you see? I'm bringing the ends out. Now you were asking me why, why I'm doing it. Can you see open, uh, Priya? Can you see the darkness I'm getting here? It is maybe very little, you know, but still there is the color. Now, if you guys are saying, oh my god, I want to make it flawless, of course you guys can do it, which I'm going to do right now because I want to have amazing pictures today. So that's how I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to fix it. I'm going to use the color more. Now guys, to get the beautiful blend, I'm going to use actually this color because when I was doing it, I found that I can bring more purple inside it. When I see her straight, is when you see which bone structure you want to cut because as i told you guys the more you cut the bone structure the eye looks wider and more structured and if she keeps the eye like this i will not be able to see where i want to cut the bone the more you cut the bone the eyes looks bigger so what is makeup makeup is to enhance us okay i would not say change your face of course you can change your face you can with makeup, it's like magic. You can do anything. Okay, I'm going to use the same purple eyeshadow. Look up. But I'm not going inside the eyeliner. I'm only going here, yeah, three fourths, and I bring it out. All right. The same I'm going to do here. It just on skin, and you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm bringing the ends thicker so that I get that shape upwards, okay? Can you guys see? That has to be always Exactly, so that it looks bigger. Alright, now I'm going to use my uh, Bobbi Brown gel eyeliner using one of the thinnest any of the brushes I have. The question you asked me yesterday is how to make it flat. Take a little bit of extra product and flatten the brush. The moment you flatten the brush, the brush is flat. And now, with this thin flat brush, I will go really close on the knees. Sorry? It's flat. I will go to here and make the depth which I want to cover. So it looks like a hair. All right. So I'm going to do the same. Only a line. So that the rim of the eye is really nice. All right, so that is done, and now it's time for the glitter. For that, what I'm going to use is I'm going to take a little bit out like this, and you guys can see it's an orangey, super pigmented eyeshadow. I'm also taking this pink out. Where do you think I'm going to put this pink, and where do you guys think I'm going to put this? That was fast. Now I'm going to take a brush, all right? 
a fluffy brush anywhere that you guys feel it, where you guys have the uh, control. Alright? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the brush to brush. Alright? Now it has to be very, very quick. If this is not quick, then what all we are trying to do is not going to really work. I'm going to insert one more brush. Alright? Now this is here. So I'm going to dab it, okay? Can you guys what I'm doing? I'm dabbing it. That's it. Because I want to still get the color out. You know what I mean? I take it. And I... Can you guys see? It is one product, guys. It can never go wrong. And put it in place. Can you guys see it? Same, I'm going to do again with the other brush. I'm going to use this. Okay. Keep adding little glue. Yes. It is easier. Otherwise, you know what happens? It becomes patchy and dry. Can you guys see this effect? Yes. You guys want to add a blue, purple, or anything? Now looking at in the camera, I want to bring a little bit more color in. So what I do is in this eye, you guys can see, and that eye you guys can see. Alright? So now I've done this much. I'm adding more. There, I'm going to first touch my pearl. Okay, first I touch my pearl, and then only I touch the big one. Why? Exactly. And it's easier for us because why the pink is uh, flat and the pearl is round. So I'm going to do it for your guys of the side, and I'm going to do the same thing here. Now for this side of kids, take it. First, pearl, and then the glitter. Now it's reaching the end bit, which is this. And for that, I go first. I'm going to do here exactly where I want. You use three glitters. Right now I use three very openly. I was planning to use only two glitters. Now I'm going to take a brush, but for show looks, you guys can use a little bit. But I'm going to use very, very little, little of Becca. Just can you guys see this part to highlight this one. Can you guys see? see so now comes again back to this palette and this palette because I want to be the low mm, I love Krylon very openly I think it's a fabulous uh, brand now guys you guys can see I've used the shimmery kind of a color here the darkest here okay I'm going to use the same color And then I'm going to use some of the lighter color towards the center parts. I want to have a little bit pigment more in the front because I want to make it, I forgot to give that pink in the front. So the lip liners are also very P -E -G -G good. P-E-G-G-Y S-A-G-E -E. So now I brought the pink. Can you guys see? Same thing I'm going to do here. Now, I'm, this time I'm not going to use this color. Instead of that, I'm going to use the lighter color. And you see, you get that kind of a feeling. Lighter color. 
inner corner lighter and outer corner darker. And now there are lashes. So have you guys used the lashes Samantha? Yes. Um, it's a beautiful yes. one for shows. It's like one of my favorite. So I'm going to use Samantha. Guys, can you see the fallout? Yes. I have to clean the entire face. But now, can I guess give you a trick? So for stage shows, I really don't remove it even. I keep it there and I put the base later on top. But of course, I want to show you guys step by step. So now I'm going to redo again the moisturizer. And if the person has oily skin, please don't use moisturizer or primer before this when they are doing the act because they are going to sweat so much more and that is going to be not good. Now comes the base. Of course I'm going to use my Kat Von D and I believe in mixing colors which I have said everywhere so I don't know any numbers. I mix it. Not really but on stage show you are going to sweat. So why would you give a dewy what is this? Yeah. Why would you give a, a dewy face whatever it is, you know? Yeah it is, but I only used it because I wanted to bring the color a little bit up. So I like the color, so that's why I mix it. See it's so light. Can you guys see? The difference between yesterday's coverage and today's coverage? So this is the way usually I do this. I dab, 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 dab the base on. Then I do a sponge. And usually it's washed. And if it's not really uh, wet, out of all the setting spray, the quite less chemical is the setting spray from S. Lauder. Uh, uh, very openly, I love, love, love the Fendi. Now you guys asked me yesterday about the color corrector, right? So now I can see I would like to correct a little bit. 303 by Krylon. And you it's only my favorite. use orange. I just use the orange and then it. Or do you put it after the foundation? Like the orange is more seen when you do it after the foundation. It's time for, of course, contouring. Um, Priya's face, she has a really small forehead. I don't want to cut at all the front. If I want to do it, it's only on the side, a little bit here. But I don't want to go at all on the top because I want to give as much of length as possible. The same I'm going to do here and here. Yeah? One thing I want to tell you guys all is please play around with me. Now it's time for blush, like you guys saw yesterday, I'm going to use the blush first and then the concealer. So that again I'm going to use the your blush, smile, angle it up. So I'm going to mix again for Priya Skin multiple products. I'm going to use a, a Fit Me. You guys have to see whether the color suits. And so this is my style. And that's why I say don't copy my style. Don't do my lines. Don't do the same way I start with or how I finish it. Everyone, all of you guys should have your own hand. All right, now it's eyebrows. 
And for Priya's eyebrows, you don't need to make it really heavy because you guys can see the intensity is a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to only bring a little bit out uh, in front. For that, I'm again using the same uh, palette which I showed you guys yesterday, which I really like. So I'm going to use a little bit of this product. But I will not go anywhere in this part because it's strong enough. So what I want to do is I want to just bring the light portion maybe from here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it out here. For that I need a darker color. Yeah, so what I do is what I do is I bring it down. Can you see how beautiful? And show you guys the trick I do which I believe in keeping the ombre with this lipstick but today I'm going to use another color I don't want to use the same color which I used so today we go with the browner lip color I mean you guys can do it with any but I prefer this I love, it. I love this one like I don't I hate using it over all the lips the but I love this for the liner. Like I it's feel impossible to exactly <laughs> that's the reason. You cannot remove it only. You will never be able to remove it. So it's ooh. What is this here? Lip balm. Again, a really nice lip balm. Tom Ford. Hmm? Okay guys, I'm doing the lip liner like yesterday. Because I like that sharp light. So the pencil will never give you that beautiful sharp light. So now after this sharp light, if I put a pencil on top of it, it blends and you, you see that beautiful lip shape which is defined somewhere so that's why i use it inside and i want you guys actually try this out today again for shows you guys can go a little bit more stronger again the same trick of yesterday using a nude sheet Done. Now it's time for lashes. There are tools, whichever you guys prefer. Sometimes I use tools, sometimes I do it directly. Yeah, never make them close. Yeah, if you make them close, uh, what have uh, uh, the moment you make the eyes close, you will have wrinkles on the eye. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's why it's and that wrinkle, what? see the oh difference. Yeah. So you pre curl it and you can get the shape of it.
Can you guys see the difference? Yes. Yeah. Now, of course, I'm going to use the shoe mother one. Can you guys see? Yeah. When she moves on stage, this will look like a dream. All right. And I press both the lashes together so that it looks seamless. This is definitely worth buying guys. This lash curler for every makeup artist. I'm addicted to this because this makes the two lashes look so natural together on big screen or on whatever it is. So now we are coming to the last bit. And yesterday I was talking to you guys about the skin color. So this is the first version. So did you guys enjoy this look? Yes. Really? Yes. Yeah. Are you guys okay that I came late today? Yeah. yeah. You guys don't complain? No. All right, cool. Look at the glitter, Shandra. Amazing. Can you see the glitter? Yeah. So this is how we do stage. I want shine and what did I say when you guys are doing shows something which is non-sticky for that I'm using the Becca okay don't look at this uh, Duckin uh, it's the Becca shimmering skin perfect liquid shine you guys must be knowing it so uh, I, uh, I'm only applying this because this is cream based this will not have any problem with the uh, uh, costume to uh, get dirty when you guys wear something uh, short skirt mm. what is important legs huh? so for that I'm going to use the and also a little bit of the dark huda the reason is uh, legs looks always a little bit sexier when they're a little bit bronzed and I'm going to apply it on the legs There is also brushes to do because I got excited, I just did it. Otherwise, if you guys don't want to do it, you guys can use a brush also. And now I'm going to use the Becca bronzer. And I'm going to take it on my this one and brush. And yeah, I'm using the bronzer. It's actually like this. Highlight the bone because I use bronzer throughout. I'm going to take the golden color. I'm going to highlight that is needed. So I get automatically the three dimensional effect so that it doesn't look flat. So I always use. Love it. And now in the pictures, it will look really nice. So like again, it's time for touch up. She went uh, to get her hair done. Of course, you eat up a little bit of your lipstick. I'm not touching up the other color again. I'm only touching up the spice. So Amit, do you want to do it or should I do it? You do it. I do it? Show, show them how it's done. Of course, all of you guys know that it's not like rocket science. It's the easiest, it's the easiest thing actually. <laughs> It's sticky, or it's you have to use a fluid. Yes. Mm 
So this look is more this side only. This, <laughs> this look is only this side, not the other side. Like if you do it too much, it's also too uh, less is more. <laughs> After doing this look, he's like less. Do it here also. You can do it here also. This is how you work in film industry. I know you guys woke up in the morning. Trust me, there are so many days. Okay. No, no, no. You're going to ask her only to hold <laughs> You only put this. No, but this is not a steamwork. Everyone works together. Yeah, the artist also works. Sometimes artists work, sometimes makeup artists work, hair work. Wow. So guys, this is my final look on stage. So <laughs> yeah? Yeah. So, this is the final one which... <laughs> never <laughs> ending. <laughs> never ending with me. Yeah, but that's how it is. A lot of times, like, but till the time the artist is stepping out and on the show and we are being thrown out. I swear. <laughs> till the time we are doing touch-ups touch and we are doing always, they are always doing it. Guys, this is the final look of the people. <laughs> Understanding of morning shoot got different. So when Amit, when Amit said that he's coming today and he was shooting in the morning, I was so so happy. Oh my <laughs> so God, Amit, 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 and that's the end of the day and it has to be it is 11 o'clock it has to be the end of the day yeah. so here's the look now Ajay can come Ajay can come you guys like the look? yeah yeah guys play around with makeup every day play around play around get products just play around, makeup has no rule. A lot of people were asking me, oh, can we use this lip color, can we use that? There is no rule. Tomorrow maybe you guys will get a product and try out. Try out how much ever you guys can. Because, like I say, we don't kill anyone. It's just like an error. And try out.